It is a new era for the New York Jets, everyone. As the New York Jets today unveiled a new uniform set, a uniform set obviously paying homage to the great sack exchange of the 1980s, a uniform most of us were clamoring for, and it is official as the New York Jets today announce that indeed a new legacy begins as they unveiled their uniforms for 2024. Now, the interesting thing is a couple of days ago, the NFL unveiled the new rule, which stated that teams could wear three shells for the first time, which means three different helmets. Now, of course, <clears throat> in the pictures, we've only seen two helmets. We'll divide into this. Could the Jets have a fourth jersey potential on the way, or are they saving that for next year? There is a lot to break down on this episode of Rich Sports Talk. And I am really excited to do so. I am a huge jersey nerd. For those of you who don't know, I love uniforms from every different thing. I've helped work on uniform projects for different forms of media. But we can't talk about the future without talking about the past, specifically the last five years. And it's been rough. When the Jets unveiled the last set of uniforms five years ago, which feels like an eternity, there was a lot of optimism. They had Jamal Adams, they had Sam Darnold, and they had a bright future. Well, five years later, the Jets are hoping for the same thing. And I have a lot of thoughts on these uniforms. I have a lot of thoughts on the design process that they went through. But we can officially now say goodbye to a bygone era, an era of frustration, of disappointment, and of uniforms that will be going to goodwill. We say goodbye to green Zach Wilson. We say goodbye to even older number 14 black Sam Darnold. And I have a lot of thoughts and I know you do too. And I would love to hear your thoughts on the uniform. So please give us a like, give us a subscribe and make sure to bash that subscribe button. So you don't miss any of the latest content, but let's get into the uniforms here. And I have a lot of thoughts from a lot of different opinions of this. So let's dive right into it. So the first thing is I'm showing you the Jets have not only unveiled that they are going with the new uniform, but they're going with logos. And I mean that plurally. So as we all know, the Jets have the traditional football logo, which you can see in the middle, but they've interestingly added some interesting tweaks. We've seen the word script in the bottom left that will likely be used in the end zones for the upcoming season. The primary logo will probably be in the middle and also that Jets script. But interestingly enough, some interesting side logos, a lot of NY logos have been involved, and I'll get to those in a little bit. But two interesting logos, if you notice, are the secondary logos in the top left and top right. Now, the top left is the NY with the Jet logo over the T. But one I really liked and has grown on me is that football one because it's kind of subtle, that one in the top right corner. And that logo's grown on me the most because it's different. Usually the Jets have just had script in their logo. And is this the best logo in football? I'll be honest, no. Like, and again, I love the Jets. I think we all love the Jets here. But one thing about the Jets is the Jets don't exactly have the greatest logo in sports. But I do think the new one is definitely an upgrade over the previous one. And look, I think with a lot of the Jets logos, a lot of the Jets uniforms, it's about simplicity. They've gone backwards in terms of being more simple, which I think is great. In the NFL, I think simplicity wins, especially with uniforms and with design. And I just really like that they're paying homage, but they've also made some subtle tweaks to it. So it's not just a pure throwback. So if you notice here in this picture, I think this is a great example. The left helmet is of the brand new one. And it's more of the brighter green that we've seen them use in the last couple of years. And it's a shell that really pops. And that's one of the few aspects that I really liked about the previous uniform set was that sparkly green helmet, how it really popped and was vibrant with the white cage match. And you can see some subtle tweaks in the logo, but mainly the color. I mean, it was a more dull green that we saw, more of a hunter green on the right. That is the old sack exchange helmet. So it does seem like the Jets are... Yes, doing an homage to the Sack Exchange, primarily basing the design on the Sack Exchange, but adding their own modern flair to it, which I think was well done. But let's get into the main event. Let's get into the uniforms. The Jets will have three uniforms next season as of now. Now, again, we now know there's a third shell rule. Could the Jets bring a white helmet? Could they bring a throwback helmet? I'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. But 
let's start off with the home green. And green, ironically, for be, the Jets being gang green, it's been a color they have not liked to wear for whatever reason over the past couple of seasons. They have just not loved the green. I don't know what it is, but this was the one I was most excited about because we've basically seen the white uniform, but this looks really great, and I love the green uniform. I think it needs to be more often. Now, a couple of design critiques. I love the simple shoulder striping. The double stripe on the shoulder, I think, is more simplistic. Looks great. The solid stripe down the pants. Now, a couple of things is the collar is super thick, especially in the Nike template. I would have liked it to maybe be a little skinnier in the collar. But overall, I think this is a gorgeous set, especially with the white pants. It's a nice balance of the green and white and the colors. I really think this is a sharp-looking uniform. In my opinion, outside of the white on white, this is probably my favorite uniform of the set and was the one I was most excited for now. The one thing about the green, which I was kind of hoping for, but doesn't seem to be the case as I shift to the next one is here's another full size photo of CJ Mosley rocking the new green uniforms. Interestingly enough, the Jets, of course, look like they're going to be wearing the white shoes with the uniforms as well. Elijah Bear Tucker here is modeling the second uniform, which is basically the alternate green uniform. And it had something on it I didn't like. Now, one thing I've never, I think a lot of Jet fans agree with me on this but if i'm in the minority please put it in the chat put in the comments i've never been a big fan of the green on green i've always been a fan especially with the football uniforms you need to have some division all white uniforms are one thing but when you do a color uniform i need to see some division and i was really hoping if because i knew they were going to do a green pants version of the jersey that the socks would be white or have the stripes from the classic jersey which i'll show you in a sec but just, I hate the full look. And one of the things, the design things that have come up with this is when the Jets wear the white uniform with the green pants, the green socks, people call it the Peter Griffin look because it's basically white jersey over green pants. I would have liked to see the white socks. I would have liked to see striped socks. I don't know what it is with the NFL now. They seem to be averse to striped socks. And I do think that just having the stripes on the socks, it's a subtle detail but it helps to divide up the uniform and bounce. And I think this is a great example from the Boomer Sison. Like just having the half socks, like half white, half green with the stripes in there, which match the jersey top. It, to me, like it's a subtle thing, but it helps break up the uniform. And I was just imagining, like, could you imagine like those socks? Like Alvera Tucker now, again, is probably wearing the longer green on top. You can still see essence of the way on the bottom, but having those half socks with the double stripes on the top, I think would help balance it a little bit more. Like it's just a little too much green. Although this is usually a uniform combination. We see probably the least for jet fans. If I had to guess the most we see, this is maybe two times next year, but I also would encourage them to try to wear the white socks with this. Cause again, I think it adds a nice divide and I would have liked some striped socks. Now we get, to the road uniforms. I'm not going to spend too much time on the all whites because, again, we saw the legacy uniforms last year with the green socks. They've also, as you saw in the previous picture with Elijah Tucker, they've added the green pants to this set. Not a surprise. I do think this is a solid set now. I would have liked to see from all the pictures we've seen that it's been the full green socks again. I still would like to see the stripes, and I almost think White socks with this would look a little bit better. This is a picture of the uniform from last year, which is basically the all-white uniform. But I almost feel like if they divided it, like a cool look for this would be the green helmet, the white jersey, the green pants, and the white socks. So it's like alternating the colors down the jersey. I think that would give it a little bit more balance and look a little bit better. And finally, the Jets going with the black uniforms. We see the matte black helmets. Uh, I know some. this is a bit of a hot take because certain Jet fans hate the black uniforms. I like the black uniforms, but in small dosages. So my thing with the black uniforms is I do really like them. And an interesting announcement today in the press release was the Jets have worn the black pants with the white tops before, and they were asked, well, we don't see any pictures with the white and the black bottoms. Could we see that again? And they basically let that open. I So I do think you're going to see at least one game with the white on the black bottoms, which, again, I do think the players like. The black uniforms I, I, I'm a fan of. 
I think that they're a nice change of pace. They're a nice once or twice a year uniform. My thing with the black uniforms this year is I'm a slightly disappointed from the standpoint of basically outside of the logo on the helmet and the stripe changes, they're pretty much the same uniform. And the way I kind of look at these alternate jerseys, if you're going to do something different or try something, try it with these uniforms. I think one thing that could have been done is I would have liked maybe a little white to help accent that green, maybe put like white around the green stripe on the pants, maybe put white on that in between on the green stripes on the shoulder yoke. Another thing too, because again, the white number really pops and I would have liked to see a little bit more white elements. Another thing too is I also mentioned earlier in this video, I'm not a huge fan of the monotone one color look. I really think if you just made a subtle tweak, which is just add green socks, it would really help the uniform pop a little bit better. It, it, I just think it'd be a, it's a subtle element, but I do think it would be better. But overall, I do like this jersey. If the Jets play another Black Friday game, they'll probably wear this as well. I'm a little bit curious, too, to see if they'll ever do the black show over a different uniform combination. I guarantee you, you'll see at least one game with the uh, black pants and the white jerseys. But one other thing I, I would like to see, which I don't think would be horrible, is maybe trying this with the white pants, with the green stripe and you know green socks. I think it'd be an interesting combination. But again, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about the uniforms as well. Overall, I think it's a great set. I think it was really well done. I think that, again, simplistic uniforms are the way to go. Again, the black uniform, like an elephant, I, I'm sorry, an element I would like to see is maybe kind of do a shoulder stripe like the new Jet logo with that little tail fin, like do that on the shoulder, like going up, just a little subtle one. I think that could have been really good. And, or maybe even do that like as a white stripe with that little fin on it over the green stripe. It just feels like with that black jersey, it feels like it was kind of – just basically, we're going to copy the template of the new uniform, but just use the black uniform from last year. And again, I don't have anything wrong with it. It's a huge seller among the Jet fans. The Jet players obviously love that jersey. I know there's a lot of traditional Jet fans that despise the black uniform. And I don't think they despise the black uniform. I just think the last two years, when you really look at the Jets uniforms, like the Jets have had a slight identity crisis. And I'm really curious to see what they do this year because... In the past, the Jets have kind of flip-flopped between the home colors. Certain teams like to wear white at home. Most teams wear colors. But the Jets throughout their history have gone back and forth. Some years they would wear primarily white at home. Some years they wear primarily green. They didn't really answer the question this year. But even last year, if you think about it, the Jets had nine home games and basically wore, you know, barely wore green at home. They wore the two throwback uniforms, which were the white uniforms last year. They wore the black uniforms for the black friday game they wore the white uniforms or the black pants against the chargers so you look at it like a team that's supposed to be the jets and their primary color is green they wore the green uniforms at home about the same as their white uniforms and i'm curious to see if that changes obviously early in the season teams tend to wear white at home because of the heat especially for the one o'clock games I'd love to see the schedule drop for the Jets in terms of who they're playing. You know, in prime time, they're probably going to wear the black either once or the prime time Black Friday game. I'm also curious to see, because we know about the Wednesday games around Christmas, that the Jets get put on Christmas potentially. Could that be a uniform they wear? But overall, I really like the uniforms. I, I think that it's definitely an upgrade. I know there's some fans that lament not going back to the original Joe Namath throwbacks that the Jets wore from the mid-90s to the 2010s. And I think you can bring them back as a fourth throwback. I wouldn't mind that. I, I would do this. I'd rather see those uniforms again than the Titans uniforms. And to me, that's an even more polarizing debate in Jets fans, which is there's a lot. I think most people would agree that they like the black uniforms. But if you really want to start a hot debate in Jets land, talk about the Titans throwback uniforms. I'm one of the people who is completely against the Titans. And yes, I understand that this, they're part of the team's history. They're <clears throat> part of the legacy of the New York Jets. But I just don't love the, that uniform. It doesn't really 
stick out to me. To me, it's like a muted Notre Dame uniform. Like the yellow isn't even a bright yellow or like a sparkly gold. It's like a mute dark brown mustard yellow on those Navy jerseys. I've never been a big fan of the Titans throwbacks. I know there are a lot of fans that love those throwbacks. If I'm going to see a throwback, I want to see like a 69 Joe Namath throwback. That would be my opinion. But overall, I think that the Jets did a great job with this uniform design. And look, even last year, I think one of the reasons they did the legacy jerseys was to get a feel of how this Jet fan base felt about the uniforms. Because one of the things, uniforms are always tricky with teams. Because if a team's winning in a uniform, fans love the uniforms. When a team stinks in the uniforms like the Jets did, that tends to make the uniforms a little bit sour on it, but it does seem like generally the fan base is excited about this logo. And again, it's a, something that the jets have worn before. It's something that deals with their history where the last redesign was trying to go forward. It was during that Nike Renaissance in the NFL where they're trying all these different crazy uniform combinations and certain aspects of the last Jersey. I liked, I liked the subtle striping that was supposed to, to basically, emulate a jet a stream tail like outside of a jet like when you see in the clouds i thought that was an innovative one i think the problems with the last jerseys were people didn't like the giant new york on it and i'm not a big fan of putting the text across the football jersey on the front i think the black elements were something too where yes the jets with the black uniforms i think a lot of fans like the black jerseys but they didn't love the overabundance of black elements like the black face mask which kind of muted the helmet the black accents on all the jerseys and look i think that there's a lot of fans like every generation has their uniforms obviously fans that grew up with the sack exchange are going to love this jersey people that grew up in the 90s or the rex era will have a special place with those jerseys overall i think this is a healthy compromise this is a uniform that while it heavily takes from the past, does have modern elements. They have incorporated new colors, slight tweaks to the design. And overall, I think it's a I just think it's a really good set. Is it the best uniform in the NFL? I don't think it's the best uniform in the NFL, but I do think that this is probably one of the better sets the Jets have had. And you could make a case it's got to be up there for one of the best. And again, I know it might sound lazy because this is a uniform that they've worn have success in, but I do like that it takes the past and also combines it with the present. And the other thing, too, is I think this is the best Jet logo. I've said on the show before, I like this Jets logo with the tail in it because, it, to me, if you're not going to do like a fighter Jet logo or a plane logo, this is the best compromise. And it reminds me a lot of basically airline logos it almost kind of reminds like a twa logo from like the classic 50s 60s and 70s like from the heyday of travel it reminds me a lot of like those subtle airline logos like the famous ones of the past and that i think is a really nice touch especially because the jets were named not because of fighter jets but because of jets flying over shea stadium all the time and that's where they get the nickname from it's from commercial jets and even though you know a lot of the jets like graphics you see with the fighter jets and everything the, the jets history is not based off fire jets it's not because of a strong military presence like outside like if, it's not like san diego where you have like the the uh sorry the i'm gonna get my armed services mixed up either the navy or the air force right out there but for me like this was just it paid homage to the 60s and 70s when the jets were created it reminds me of air travel back then, which may consider the heyday of travel on jet liners. And now I think it pays homage to those famous jet liners. Uh, if I had to choose my favorite, I love the white on white, the basically the one they wore last year, and also the green over the white. I'm not a big fan of the, of the uh, monotone look, which is the one single color, all green, all black. I just think that the socks on these jerseys, if you just added some striping, if you just change the color on them, it would just make it a, break up the uniform just a little bit better. But again, those are my personal opinions. I don't think they those kill the uniforms. I just think those would be nice little enhancements to the uniform overall. But I'd love to hear from you guys. Please give us a like, subscribe in the comments. Let us know what you think of the new Jets uniform. And if you're excited, and if you've already put on order for a new one, and reminder, guys, 
Garrett Wilson's changed his number to number five. So if you're a Garrett Wilson fan, this is a good time to upgrade your jersey, get the new number five. As you can see in the promotion, he was wearing the number five jersey as well. But to me, I'm excited. This is just another domino to fall to get my excitement before the draft. I love this new updated logo, and I love these new uniforms. But I'd love to hear from you. Make sure to give us a like, subscribe below, and let us know what you think about the new Jets jerseys. Only here on Rich Sports Talk.